Hi and welcome. So we are going through a video today showing you the SMA monitoring app and the app is the SMA Energy. So what we have here is a system to show you and we can go through what all the numbers mean and how they are relevant and how you can use this information to get the most from your system and savings. So to get started, um, I will say uh, big asterisks that we aren't looking at the number values here. Um, to give you an idea, it is pouring with rain in the middle of July at 10.30 a.m. So if you're watching this video at night time, your system's off. And if you're watching it in the middle of the day in January, in the middle of summer, you're probably making a hell of a lot more power. But it is about what the numbers represent and that information that we can use. So we'll jump straight in. Uh, we, at the top here, we have the current generation. We also have um, status, which is a tick. That's what we want to see. If you see anything else, then further investigation will be needed and you can use our support tab on the website to um, troubleshoot yourself. Um, it's like if it's a Wi-Fi disconnection, it shows you how to reconnect and stuff like that. But the current generation here is what the system is producing at this very moment. As I mentioned, pouring down with rain, middle of July, so we're not getting too much from this system, 611 watts. Um, underneath is today's generation. I do, when focusing on is your system doing what you think it should be doing, I do push customers to look at the today's generation. When we sell the system to you, we give you a panel report. In that report on page two, you will see that there is a generation table um, of your average daily generation across each month. So then that can give you an idea of what to expect in terms of output from the system. When you're looking at the current generation, like today, it's overcast, your know, system's gonna be down. But if it clears, that system can push itself all the way up to four kilowatts pretty quickly, even five kilowatts. This is a six kilo, uh, sorry, a five kilowatt inverter. So. Um, while it's good to know the current generation and get that idea to see if your system's doing what it should be today's generation gives you a better reflection please also remember if your system is over the five kilowatt inverter and you were installed post march 14th 2022 your system is export limited so your today generation is dictated to by how much power you are using um, as your system will ramp down if you're not using power. So um, if we scroll down now to the, today's energy balance, this is showing you what is happening today with this system. Uh, now, please keep in mind, like I said, uh, it is pouring with rain. So you can see the system started up and was doing all right, but then the uh, rain set in and it's dropped right down there. So I think the numbers are so low, it's just registering as at 0.0, .0 but you can see at the top here, you are getting 600 watts. <laughs> it does give us an anticipated uh, readout of the day, but what I might do is I might go on the top left-hand corner here, you see a history button. If I hit the history button, I'll go to yesterday, so, uh, sorry, to Monday. So that gives us a nice indication of what is happening there. So you can see on a nice clear day, uh, systems going up. Um, starting off in the morning, going up to the middle of the day, and then uh, naturally in the afternoon, we'll, um, we'll start ramping down as well. Total generation for that day is 20 kilowatts, um, and that's, you know, for this time of year, that's, that's pretty good, so happy with that. You can also hit at the top there, week, and that will update to week, so you can see, been a pretty good week so far, so pretty similar patterns of ramping up and down. Uh, you can go to month, which should convert it to a bar graph, and we can see each day, very good weather for July this year, 21, 22. Obviously, we've had some rainy days in there here. And then the system, so system's doing very well. And we can go to year, and we see that downward trend heading into winter. And hopefully now, from here on, we'll see the upward trend uh, heading into, uh, into the summer period. And down the bottom, you'll see the total generation that updates every time you go into each tab. So total generation is 24 1,511 kilowatt hours. So system's doing very well. Do have a forecast tab up here. Um, that is pretty good, but unfortunately it isn't always accurate as you can see because the weather is that bad here, even though it has the uh, rain there. Um, they're anticipating it to get up to 1.1. Um, I would say we'll be uh, we'll hopefully get close to that, but uh, yeah, not quite sure if we'll uh, if we'll hit those heights with uh, the weather that's set in. 
that's pretty much all there is to the SMA tab. If you have a consumption meter, you will have a second feature here which will show your um, consumption at the property. Uh, this is very, very useful in terms of being able to use your power when you know you're um, using appliance, when you know you have enough power to cover that appliance, such as dishwashers, washing machines. Um, but for the bulk of it, if you don't, the strategy remains the same of trying to keep your power usage within that window of that 9.30 to 3.30. Um, time bracket uh, when the system's producing um, most of its power. Any questions, always call our service line and, uh, and we'd be happy to help um, talk you through any of your, um, the other queries. Thank you.